Well, Simon Jack, thank you. But of course, there are some businesses that have already been doing this for some time. Let's talk to a director at one of them. Declan Ferguson is a director of the biggest premium sausage manufacturer in the UK, Finnebrogue Artisan, which is based in Downpatrickshire, south of Belfast. Morning to you. Good morning. How are you? To those who've been locked at home, this may sound very difficult and also rather unnerving. In practice, how have you found doing it? Well, we produce uh, a brand of bacon called Naked Bacon, which is nitrate-free and therefore a different offer to everybody else in the UK. So we wanted to make sure both we could keep that supply to our customers and also as we're supplying solely uh, sausages to a number of retailers, we needed to keep the shelves full. And to do that, we've, I suppose, introduced a couple of different measures. The first was around physical controls, so ensuring that there was time segregation between shifts when they're coming to the factory, ensuring that everybody had staggered breaks so that we're trying to space them out wherever possible. And then other things that have came uh, over the last six weeks as new ways of working. So when staff arrive on site, they have their temperatures taken, they also get a face mask, which they must wear when they're on the factory floor and they have access to face shields and face visors. Uh, to as I understand, do you give that. them a bonus if they follow the rules? Yes, so we've introduced a social distancing bonus so they can get a pound of our extra when they follow those rules. So, uh, And to do that, we've also introduced social distancing marshals. So they're they're the policemen, I suppose, on the factory floor and in all areas of the of the factory that make sure people are following those two metre social distancing rules. So if there's someone listening in a similar situation but not yet started this, what would your message be to them? That it is totally doable or that this is very costly, very complicated and you're still not quite there yet? <laughs> No, I think it's totally doable. There is additional costs. So we're spending around £100,000 a week uh, with these additional measures. So we've introduced additional staff. We've got additional bonus uh, and then the additional cost of the PPE. But uh, to keep people safe and to make sure that they're willing and able to come to work, I think it's paramount to make sure that you're able to do it. Uh, so they need to safe work, safe, need to feel safe in their workplace. Uh, so things like hand sanitizer stations when they're coming into work, having doors open wherever possible so they're not having to touch additional uh, doors, windows, whatever that may be, as well as having the physical markers on the ground, such as you have in supermarkets, which allow them to keep two metres apart at all times. They're vital to be able to do that. Declan Ferguson of Finnebrogue Artisan, thank you very much indeed for talking to us.